This video project is about the life of St. Peter, a.k.a. Simon, also known as the only apostle that denied Jesus three times. Simon was born in Bethsaida near the Sea of Galilee. He was also a fisherman with his younger brother, Andrew. Jesus already had Andrew believe and walk beside him because Andrew was already one of Jesus' apostles. Andrew just tried to get his brother Simon on the same page, but he didn't want to. Until one day, Jesus was walking along the Sea of Galilee and saw two brothers, and he told them, Walk, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. During Jesus' ministry, the Gospels tried to show Simon that he was one of the foremost apostles in declaring faith in him as Christ. In that movement, Jesus gave Simon a new name, Peter. The reason why Jesus chose Peter for Simon's new name is because it means rock. Then after the new name thing process, Jesus promised to give Peter the keys of the kingdom to heaven. A little while later, the Last Supper happened that Jesus and all his 12 disciples attended to and where Jesus gave his last sermon, which was having his disciples have a piece of bread and some juice as his blood and body. That's where communion comes from. Right after the Last Supper happened, the kiss of Judas happened. Then literally right after the Last Supper happened, along with the kiss of Judas, they went to Mount Olives, also known as Mount Olivers. From there, they went to Gethsemane, which was in February and kind of also March of 30 AD. He then brought three apostles with him, Peter, James, and John to keep watch so he wouldn't get in trouble for trespassing. This as in the apostles fell asleep, and that's when Judas had the chief's priests and all the people come and arrest Jesus. Then after when Jesus got arrested, they took him to Golgotha, also known as Calvary, which was a site immediately outside of Jerusalem, known as the place of the skull. Then that's when he was crucified. On the third day after his crucifixion, Jesus has risen. Peter went to Rome in 63-64 CE. Peter took a few Jerusalem people with him. On the way to Rome, they would obviously need resting points, and in those resting points they had, Peter wrote letters to the churches. When they arrived to Rome, the fifth emperor, which was Nero, instigated them. They ended up getting arrested because Nero the Emperor thought they were behind the great fire that destroyed the Circus Maximus, when they were really just Christians trying to preach the gospel. While they were held captive and Peter was arrested in prison between two soldiers, the angel of the Lord came down and freed him by showing Peter a light shone in the prison and led him out. He ended up getting caught again, and then he got crucified. But he asked if he could get crucified upside down because he felt unworthy to be crucified the same way his Lord did. And that's all he wrote. The End.